Okay, today I will be running Imperialism on Windows XP. So I'll be running this game. Let me turn on the lights. Gonna be running this game on Windows XP. And I'll show you how to do that. Let me turn that back off again, it's so bright. So, if you want to install this game, you go here, you go to uh, open, and you go to setup right here, right click, go to properties, go to compatibility, and you have to click on uh, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 95. It has to run at 256 colors. It has to run at 640 by 480 resolution and then just click on apply. And then just click on setup and you can install it. If you don't do that then it's going to say um, you can't install it because you have Windows NT on it. And basically uh, Windows XP is a uh, is a more advanced version of Windows NT so that's why it says that so in order for you to run the game after it installs it's going to be here you go here go to imperialism and uh, press right uh, mouse button go to properties oh you don't have to do that wait 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 Let me see if that works without it first. Okay, it, it just runs. As you can see. You only have to do that when you install the game, but you don't have to do that when you run the game. It runs perfectly. Uh, it plays the videos and everything as you can see right here okay that's enough Bad geography. One thing bad about this game is that when you're playing it on a very fast computer like this, is that it scrolls very, very quickly. It's very easy to get lost. I mean by bad geography, I can't uh, 
build any more rails. Because you have to advance like uh, several ages before you could build uh, rail roads through marshes and hills. Okay, that's enough. You know it works. So this computer is a, um, it's based on a Athlon 64, 3200 plus processor, it's a socket 754 processor, and I'll show you right here, so it's running Windows XP Professional 2002 version. The Athlon 64 processor 3200 plus running at 2.04 gigahertz has 512 megabytes of RAM and I'm running a, I'm using a GeForce GT GeForce FX 5900, so it's a GeForce 5900 XT with 128 megabytes of RAM. And this processor just has a single thread, doesn't have any hyper threading or anything. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, something like this, a computer like this, can run Windows 95 games. And uh, these computers aren't aren't like uh, rare or anything. You could you could find them on eBay or you could find them on Craigslist and stuff. And you could use them to play uh, retro Windows 95 and 98 games, and they run perfectly. Not all of them, but a lot of them do work on Windows XP. You don't have to install Windows. 95 or Windows 98 but you could if you want but the problem is uh, the drivers aren't perfect in Windows 98 for a computer like this because this computer came out in um, around 2003 so uh, probably it to be optimized for Windows XP and or Windows 2000 Okay, thanks for watching.